वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम एंड कोड्स इन आवर लास्ट टू क्लासेस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द कन्वर्शन टेक्निक्स फ्रॉम वन नंबर सिस्टम टू अनादर नंबर सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट बाइनरी एरिथमेटिक सच एज बाइनरी एडिशन सब्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट वील स्टार्ट विद बाइनरी एडिशन एंड वी विल बी एडिंग दिस टू नंबर हेयर बोथ द नंबर हैव फोर डिजिट्स or four bits before we can add these two numbers we have to learn about the rules of binary addition now this is the relationship between decimal and binary number system where in binary number system the numbers are represented by two bits as we can see here and in decimal number system we have considered only from 0 to 3 now as we can see here that uh, decimal from 0 to 1 how we obtain when we add one more one to zero from one to two again with one if we add one then we obtain two and similarly from two if we add with two one more one then we obtain three similarly in the binary number system also with zero zero if we add one more one then we obtain zero one and similarly with zero one if we add one then we will be obtaining one zero and then with 1 0 again if we add 1 then we obtain 1 1 so this is the relationship that we already know and we will map this with the rules of addition so from 0 0 how we are obtaining 0 1 when we are adding 1 so 0 when will it will be added with 1 it will become 1 and here we have only 1 0 so that is becoming 0 1 and this is how we are getting now with 0 1 we are adding one more One and the result of addition is what one zero. So this is the result of addition. That means when one will be added with one, the result of addition will be one zero. So and that will we cannot express by one digit or one bit. So it will have two bits. This bit is considered as our sum, and this bit is considered as our carry, and that we will see in this table. Now, next is when one zero will be added with one, then the result is one one. So when zero is added with one, that we have seen here, that generates one, and here we have simply one, so that is coming here. Now we'll come to this table where we have the rules of addition. So when zero will be added with zero. both are zeros as we know in case of decimal number system so sum will be zero here since we are adding two single bit numbers so the sum will be expressed by single digit only and if there is any more digit that will be taken as carry so 0 plus 0 0 and there is no carry 0 plus 1 it is one that we have seen here we have seen here so sum is one and there is no carry now when one will be added with zero again it will generate one as sum and there will be no carry and now the important is when one will be added with one what will happen that we have seen here when one will be added with one then in the position of sum we will be getting zero and in the position of carry we will be getting one so this is the this these are the rules of binary addition and that we will be applying when we will be adding these two numbers so here we have one in the first position both the values are one so one and one when they will be added as we know in the position addition of sum it will generate zero and then it will carry one so this is the line where we will write the carry if we have any then zero plus one will be added and that will the result of summation will be addition will be one now that one when it will be added with this one which is carry from the previous position then again the result of addition will be zero and there will be one more carry and that will be forwarded to the next position now here 1 and 1 first will be added and 1 plus 1 means we know the result of addition is 1 0 and when 1 0 is added with one more one that result of addition is what that result of addition is 1 1 so here the in the sum position we will have 1 and this will be our carry so that will be forwarded to the next position now here 0 plus 1 when they will be added the 
summation the result of summation will be one and then when that one will be added with this carry which is one again so that will be one zero so here it will be zero in the position of sum since this is the addition of uh, both the msb so here we will be writing now the carry because we don't have any more addition for that so the final carry we will be writing here so this will be the total result of our addition where now if want to represent this result of addition by four bits then this much will be our sum that has four bits and this will be our carry so this is the way how we add two binary numbers but it is not mandatory that we can only add two binary numbers by applying these rules no we can add any number of binary numbers next we will learn about binary subtraction where we will be subtracting this number from this so here again we have two four bits binary numbers before we perform this subtraction let's learn the rules of subtraction again this is the relation the shape that we have seen earlier and these are the rules of binary subtraction so here when zero will be subtracted from zero the result of, of that subtraction or the difference will be zero and there will be no borrow as we know in case of subtraction we may sometimes need to borrow from the next significant bit now this is okay now when we will be subtracting 0 from 1 so it will be the difference will be 1 and there will be no borrow that is also okay that is also easy so and when 1 will be subtracted from 1 as we know in case of decimal number system also the same rule here the difference will be 0 and there will be no borrow only important rule that we have to remember here is when we will be subtracting 1 from 0 then one what will happen because here the 0 is the less than one as we know the rule of this type of subtraction uh, that we have learned in case of decimal number system we have to borrow from the next significant bit so here since we are performing binary subtraction so here we cannot uh, here the possible values are only 0 and 1 and we cannot borrow 0 then that doesn't make sense so we have to borrow 1 now 1 when we will be borrowing the 0 will not be replaced by 1 rather 0 will be now 1 0 and when we will be subtracting 1 from 1 0 the result will be 1 that, that means the difference will be 1 and we have borrowed 1 here when 1 will be added with 1 the result of addition will be 1 0 that means we can think this way when 1 will be subtracted from 1 0 then the difference will be 1 and that is what is written here when we are subtracting 1 from 0 the difference is 1 and the borrow is also 1 and this rule will be more clear when we will be subtracting these two numbers now in the first position in the position of least significant bit we are subtracting 0 from 1 so it will be the difference will be 1 this is the rule 0 from 1 now when we are subtracting 1 from 1 the difference will be 0 this is the rule the fourth rule now when we will be subtracting 1 from 0 what will happen again bit wise if we look then 0 is less than 1 so what we do is we have to borrow 1 and this time this is the in the most significant bit position we have 1 here so this 1 will be borrowed and this 0 will become now 1 0 instead of 0 now 1 will be subtracted from 1 0 or we can think this way that this is the 1 0 so when 1 will be subtracted from 1 0 the difference will be 1 and since 1 we have already borrowed from this position so this 1 will be no more 1 rather it will be 0 now when 0 will be subtracted from 0 the difference will be 0 and this is the result of this subtraction next we will perform binary multiplication so we will be multiplying this number by this again we have chosen two four bits binary numbers so first we will see the rules of multiplication here when zero will be multiplied by zero the normal rule of decimal number system that we have seen here also the result is zero when one will be multiplied by zero again zero when zero will be multiplied by one again zero and when one will be multiplied by one then the result result will be only in this case the result will be 1 so let's proceed with this multiplication here again we will be performing the partial products and then finally we will be having the complete result or final product now when this multiplicand will be multiplied by the lsb of this multiplier so 
what will happen one first will be multiplied by this one so result will be one then this one will be multiplied by this zero so it will be zero next will be zero and this one when it will multiplied by one this will be one now we will choose this bit of the multiplier and again we will multiply with the whole multiplicand so at this time it will be zero here for this partial product then it will be uh, since this is zero so all will be uh, zero now this one will be multiplied with the whole multiplicand so it will be this time here we will have one then we will have next two bits will be zero and then we will have one here then again we are multiplying by one since this is binary multiplication we will be multiplying by either zero or one only so here we will be having one then next two bits will be zero and here we will be having one so these are the four partial products and then we will have the final product so for binary multiplication along with multiplication we are also we will be also applying the rules of binary addition so here we have single digits so it will be one only then we will be adding these two digits or these two bits of binary addition so here it will be zero then zero plus zero zero and then zero plus one it will be one then one plus zero one and then one plus zero again one and then that one plus one it will be one zero so here we will have zero and then we will have one carry here so all these zeros when we they will be added that will that will contribute to zero finally and then when that zero will be added with this one it will be one then one plus zero it will be one and here we have one we don't have any carry here so final result of this binary multiplication will be this next we will see the bind the rules of binary division and for that we will be dividing this binary number by this binary number now here we will be applying the long division method that we know in case of decimal number system now let's proceed with this division so here we have four bits and uh, here we have seven bits so when we will be dividing as per the no normal rule of division this number can be multiplied either by zero or one but we will not be multiplying by zero because that will make the whole number zero here so first we will be multiplying by one here so the first digit in the quotient will be one and if we do that then this value will be one zero zero one and then in case of division as we know along with division we also perform subtraction so here we will perform binary subtraction when zero will be subtracted from one that value that difference is one and there is a borrow and that borrow basically we have borrowed this one from this position from the next significant digit so this one has been already borrowed that means this one will no more remain one that will that will become zero so when zero will be subtracted from zero then the difference will be zero now when zero will be subtracted from one that difference will be one and now when one will be subtracted from one that difference will be zero next what we will do we will take this next digit that is one here and we will again multiply this by one so this time it will be again one zero zero one and we will subtract these two numbers so one subtracted by one so it will be zero zero is subtracted from one this will be one then zero is subtracted from zero this will be zero one is subtracted from one this will be again zero now here we have four bits but here we have two bits only so as per the normal rule we will take we will consider this bit and we will write here but still it is a three digit or three bit number so what we have to do is we have to consider this digit also and we have to write here but for that we have to take one zero as per the normal rule of long division method so now if we multiply this number by one then this will be one zero zero one and now if we perform subtraction since this both the numbers are same so there will be nothing i mean we will have zero so the remainder of this division will be zero and the quotient will be one one zero one but it is not mandatory that for every binary division the remainder will be zero it may have some other value as well so this class was about the rules of binary addition subtraction multiplication and division i hope you will be able to solve this type of binary arithmetic with this i end today's class thank you